Give unto thee, give unto the Lord, O you mighty one. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The church is not called to worship. Just 
space is limited because some of the children are down here, so we're waiting for them to come up.
in the box, the temple box, right? So, our adults, you can come still and just put the money in the box, okay? So this money goes towards building up the temple, right? And also, at this time, the children will not come forward for their story, okay? So we're going again on the end. Let us see who could fight a lion with their bare hands. 
No, nobody can do that. <laughs> and with his bare hands, he starts fight the lion, and yes, the lion ran away, so they did not trouble their feet any at all. And so I can just imagine David was so excited that God is calling you for him. And yes, hello. No one can fight a lion with their bare hands. So let's get back to the story. No, I saw the hands, but I, I, I don't think so, right? All right, some of you can do that, okay. So let's get back to the story. And so, while David is there, and David realized how oh, God has come through for him, he starts to up his son again. Yet though I want you next door, fail, yet will I fail no ill. For the Lord with me and I. And then, David father Jesse sent for David and said, you know, David, I want you to go down to the Israel, to go down where your brothers are in Israel, and I want you to take some food for them. And so David said, yes, he will go and take some food for them. But while David was there, while he, he take the food for them, he was there with them, he, 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 he noticed something strange. There was this big, trapped in, big man. I can imagine that this man is far away even bigger than I am, because I am big, but the man was bigger than I am. And so the man stand, and I imagine when he stand, the ground shake. And he said, ho, 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 who will come and fight me? And so I imagine the Israelites, they all go to a crowd. None of them want to go out and fight this big, thick, trapped man. Nobody wants to fight him. And they were all afraid of him. And he was there, ha, 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 ha. Who will come and fight me? No one wants to come and fight me. David said, I don't want like when nobody this got people like this. These are God people, man. And so David remembered that he, he, he gets rid of the lion, he gets rid of the bear. And so David said, you know, I will go and fight him in the name of the Lord. But I imagine David prayed about this situation first. And so David went to King Saul. And King Saul, he said, King Saul, I will go and fight Goliath. Even they were a bit shocked. You will go and fight Goliath? Little David, no, 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 we won't let him do such thing. No, no. David said, yes. And so David convinced them, I get rid of the lion. I fight the lion. The lion have to run away. It didn't hurt me. Look at me. I fight the bear. The bear have to run away. It didn't hurt me. Look at me. I can manage Goliath. And so King Saul said, you know what? Take the amulet. Take the shield. Take the sword. Take all these things. And David, look at them. But they were like too big for him. David said, no, I don't want nothing. I will go in the name of the Lord. And so David decided to go. When the Goliath saw him, Goliath said, huh, you little boy must be joking. Go back to where you are coming from. But David was going in the name of the Lord. And Goliath said, you know what? Let us teach children a lesson. Let us teach little one a lesson. Not to come and mess with big man like me. And so by day, by Goliath to get his sword ready to meet David. Guess what? David just get his little sling as usual. And he will it. And when he will it, bop, push him. In Goliath, connect to his forehead, and Goliath just drop mercy. I imagine all the Philistines would have run and hide because someone is bigger than Goliath. And I can imagine the Israelites jumping and praising the Lord. And I can imagine David singing to himself again. Goodness and mercy all my life shall surely
Sabbath Church. It is now time to collect our tithes and offering. Honor the Lord with your wealth as the first charge of your earnings. Please bow your head as I pray. Dear most and compassionate and loving Father, thank you for another Sabbath day of rest. As we are about to collect our tithes and offering, please help that it may do the good works of your will. Please bless those who have to give, bless those who don't have to give. In your name I pray, amen. amen. Deacons, may proceed to collect today's tithes and offering.
Dear Lord, we want to thank you for our life and for taking us through another week. As children, we gather here today seeking your many blessings. We also want to thank you for your parents that have put out the effort to come out and support us today. Lord, we are asking you to help the sick and the less fortunate. Help them to get a speedy recovery. Lord, we put before you today the speakers for today. We ask that when we have concluded listening to the sermon, we will leave here today receiving a blessing. In your name I pray, Amen. amen. Wonderful. I know you did that earlier. Anyway, you're looking good. 
we have from Waterloo. Waterloo, where are you? Hey, right? let me see. Just wave your hands. All right. Yes, Waterloo. All right, Fredigo Park and uh, wonderful Fredigo Park. Standard Blue. Yes, Standard Blue. Yes, yes, Standard Blue. Yes. Are there any other church here? Wherever you're from, uh, this way, it's really good. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to have you. Wherever you're coming from, it's really a joy for us to be here. I really, I am delighted and happy to, you know, see what I'm seeing, you know? It's really looking good, and the children here, you can see they are in it. They are excited and they are, you know, enjoying the whole atmosphere of this convention. So it's really a joy for us all to be here today, and I pray that God will restore the blessing of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. The duty is being given to me to introduce one of the speakers today. Her name is Talitia Thomas. She is nine years old. She is from the Kuku Stanberg group. She loves to sing from the for the Lord. And she also loves to do the work for him. But just before she comes, the children once will be singing a special song. Yeah. 